once this airs, I promise you we're gonna get so much hate. They're gonna say you're disgusting and fat and gross and ugly. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna hold our heads up high. We're gonna ignore the haters. Haters are my motivators. We can dance on the pole. We can have hot sex. We can wear sexy lingerie. We can wear cute booty shorts. If you don't like it, look somewhere else. What did you say earlier, Denise, for every oh, one for every hater? five haters, there's 200 people who are lovers. Yes. yes. So love always wins. Yes. It's really not about you. It's about someone else who really does not like themselves. Yes. Yes. Probably they're very sad and jealous of you that you have that kind of strength and that you're bold and that you don't mind letting people see your roles and your cellulite. Because guess what? Almost every human has it. Yes. So we're not, just because we're fat, I've, I know lots of skinny girls that have cellulite and stretch marks. So you're just a human. That's it, right? We're ready for it, right? Yes! yes. Haters are my motivators. They can kiss the fattest part of my fat ass. Fat is not a bad word. Fat is not a four letter word. I can wear what I want, do what I want, and not have to be ashamed of who I am. You might as well have fun with it because you are the size you are. I'm not apologizing anymore for taking up space. I'm not apologizing for my big old booty. You really gotta look the devil in the eye and put that cupcake in your face. That's sex. <laughs> Let me to get me a cupcake. My name is Erin Rose. Hi, ladies. I actually teach at Sedusa Studios here in Campbell, California. Hello, I'm really excited because we have some ladies coming in and they're here to take a pole dancing class. There are people I know that are upwards of 280 pounds that can do literally everything that I can do. The philosophy at Sedusa is just no judgment at all and I wanted them to feel good and feel really comfortable. This may be problematic or objectifying, but her booty is the thing that I recognize the most about her in their cute little ruffle butt panties. But she's fierce and comfortable and not intimidating, which was really, really nice. We did a little warm up on the floor and stretching out, taught them some basic movements. And then we actually got up and got on the poles and did some walking. We're gonna step, keep your thighs glued together, drag the back leg. Step, drag the back leg. Yes. Yes, see if you can keep it connected to the floor. So that makes it really exotic and just almost like you're walking through honey or something. You know, just really ooey gooey. You put on a solid pair of amazing high heels and you instantly become this sexy, vixen, beautiful goddess. It's, it's hard not to feel sexy in a pair of heels. <laughs> so you want to keep your free hand busy. So uh, maybe you're just taking it through your hair or you're grabbing onto your shirt or dragging up your thigh. I mean, there's a lot of sass going on in here. It's, it's really, really fun. And this is called a ballerina twirl. We did a couple different twirls. So we're going to take your left hand and use the palm of your hand to actually twist and unwind yourself and then put your back on the floor. Yep. Okay, let's try that again. So we're walking around. And we're gonna step across in front. Place your left hand down and get both arms straight so that way you just unwind, slide the hand down. Yes. I was proving to myself and to anybody else that larger girls can do things like pole dance and that we are capable of doing things that they don't think so we could do, whether it's certain and moves twist, twist or flexibility. Down, Sit down, straight arms and then unwind yourself. Nice, that's it, good. And yeah, also reassuring myself that I have the self-confidence to come out here and do this. Like I'd never done something like that before in my body. Cross the left. And of course fear uh -huh. is present. So and so Beautiful. showing up yeah. to fear in sexiness and in power is amazing. So step across. Ooh, she even picked her leg up. Did you guys see that? <laughs> Stylish. All right, you guys ready to do something dirtier? Picture somebody special in that chair over there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is actually take our ballerina twirl. So we're gonna take our walk around, we make eye contact with the person in the chair. And when you get back to the chair, cross the left leg in front for your ballerina twirl. So push down, turn it, step out right, switch your hand around, plie down, 
and come back up. Very nice. Okay, how are we doing? I just feel like mine doesn't look like everyone else's in here. I just feel like I, I'm not flowing. Let's work with it, girl. You're, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. I think pole dancing in general can be um, hard for anyone of any size if you're not in shape. You can have smaller girls who probably are not gonna be good at it as well as big girls. I know for me, just getting to know what the routine was and getting to know what my body could and could not do um, was pretty interesting. Don't compare yourself to other people. This is really all about your journey by yourself, okay? Everybody will progress at their own level and they're all learning as they go and, um, and really just be kind to yourself. I mean, there's something beautiful that everybody has to offer. Every single person that comes in the studio, all of you ladies, just really be kind to yourself and, and just focus on having fun with it and just enjoying it. So I don't yeah. ever want my size to get in the way of me trying to do something. Even if I'm not successful at it, at least I tried to do it. Cross left and front. Push this hand down, right down here. There we go, now unwind yourself. Just twist this way. Yeah, excellent. That's it. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> and that's saucy. As you are trying to concentrate on walking around and you're looking at everybody else, you do take a glimpse of yourself in the mirror and you're like, oh, look at my leg looking stronger. Look at my calf muscle. It doesn't have to be any necessarily sexual part of you that you feel strong about. It's just something that catches your attention and you're like, yeah, I I'm supposed to be here. I'm having a good time. That's your guys' move, okay? A lot of times women do not take the opportunity to look at themselves in the mirror. So it's spiritually tough too, or enlightening at the same time. Especially the booty pop. That one's my favorite. <laughs> Pole dancing truly instills confidence. It teaches you how to carry yourself, how to feel sexy in your own body, and I think that is absolutely essential in today's world. As um, the instructor said, it's something beautiful about every woman, and this certainly makes you feel beautiful. No limits. If you don't want to step out too wide, ladies, you can also keep it kind of like here and just plie down you know, still get the business. <laughs> so it doesn't, you still see the beautiful shot there. And then we had like a Soul Train thing was really fun. So we had a little solo dance for each, each lady and they just killed it. It's all about acceptance. It's about self-love. It's about appreciating yourself, appreciating what your body can do. We can do this. We can be on a pole and we can twirl around and walk in the heels because the misconception is, is that we're immobile, that we can't walk, that we breathe hard, that we can't run, and we can't do things that normal people do. So we're not outcasts in the society. We are just fat girls having fun. I totally danced on a pole today. <laughs> Every time I looked in the mirror, I could see myself, but I could see these other women who were trying to figure out how to do the same thing in their own way. The biggest part of this is realizing that you're not alone in the internalized shame or hatred, but also in the celebration. This was a room full of women who were celebrating their bodies. Well, ladies, thank you so much for coming to Sedusa. I hope this gave you just a sense of just feeling beautiful and sexy, and that's our goal here. So, appreciate it so much. Thank you, ladies. It's nice to meet you all.